OK. So on this one third, bottom bin, when you're done. Um, so what they're asking us to do in this case is to determine the vertex, the focus, and the directrix. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure this is in the formula, in the format that I'm looking for. So I'm going to isolate my squared term. By doing that, or to do that, I'm going to have to subtract this whole expression. So I subtract from both sides. And therefore, I get x minus 1 squared equals negative 8 times y plus 2. All right. Now, this is great because I remember in the format that we talked about that looked like this, I had an equation that was in this format. x minus 1 squared equals negative 8 times y. Oh, what am I doing? x minus h times 4p times y minus k. Right? That was the general standard form that I gave you guys to talk about when doing this types of problem. Correct? Yes? Yes. That's the one we worked on. So now, remember, the vertex is hk. So ladies and gentlemen, looking over here, do we know our h and do we know our k? Yeah. Yeah. So now we have our vertex. That's cool. That was good. But now the next thing we need to do is the main important thing, we can evaluate the p. Remember, p is, or our p is 4p equals that coefficient. So I can say negative 8 is equal to 4p. Divide by 4, divide by 4, p equals negative 2. All right, and remember, this was the most important thing. Michael, do you remember what that p represented? The distance between the vertex and the focus. And Miranda, you weren't here last class period? So make sure you write that down nice and big and you remember it that p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So our distance from our vertex, which is at 1, negative 2, to the focus is negative 2. Now, we could be going negative 2, could be going to the left, or it could be going down, right? Those are the two negative distances, either horizontally or vertically. So I need to determine, am I going left or am I going down? So Kevin, we notice that this is an equation that has x squared, right? Is that going to be a parabola that's going to go open up or down or left or right? Up or down, right? That's something you guys are familiar with. You guys are familiar with the x squareds. That's what you guys have been doing for a long time. So yes, so therefore, Kevin, if it's opening up or down and p is negative 2, am I going to go down or am I going to go to the left? Down. So to find the focus, I'm just going to take my point 1, comma, negative 2, and then subtract 2 to it. So to subtract it to the y coordinate. So therefore, that becomes 1, negative 4. And what I really like to do is make a visual representation of this. 1, negative 2. That's the vertex. We know, since p is negative, that the graph opens down. And it opens down, it goes, the p value is negative 2. So you just go down 2, right? And that's how I got that point. So I, a lot of times, like to just sketch the graph and plot it, because to me, that makes more sense. So that's the focus. Good. So now we need to find the directrix. Now, Brittany, do you remember what? The, the relationship was the distance between the vertex and the directrix and the distance between the vertex and the focus? It's the exact same, right? It has to be. That's the definition of a uh, parabola, or um, yeah, a parabola, is that the distance between the focus and your directrix is exactly the same for any point on the parabola. So if I'm going down to to go to the focus, I'm going to have to go up to. Now, this one, remember the directrix is our little dotted line. And since it's horizontal, Lucas, do you remember, is it going to be x equals or y equals, since it's a horizontal line? Cheater. It's what? What is the line? Yes. y equals. Yes, very good. So and then all I'm going to do is add it. So it's um, directrix is y equals um, 0. Because you can add negative 2 or add 2 to negative 2, y equals 0. So therefore, my graph looks something like this, where there's the focus and there's the directrix. Does that make a little bit of sense on number 17? Okay. 